Nick, Warwick, it's great to meet you. Um, thanks and so it. much for having uh, us on today. Um, the creature effects are absolutely amazing. How does it feel to finally see them available to the public to be able to see and share with them? I love it myself because we've put so much sort of heart and soul into all of this work over 10 years mm -hmm. that for people to actually come and appreciate it, you know, is a real bonus. Because normally on a movie, these things, you know, they go in a skip or they get trashed or they end up on eBay or whatever happens to them. But you don't get to stand back and have your work presented so professionally to people. Mm. So, no, it's brilliant. And were it for you, seeing um, masks and costumes that you wore in and were wearing, yeah. how does that feel for you? It's fantastic. I'm, I'm just thrilled that people can come and see this stuff and, and realise that it's not all created in a computer and there are, in fact, you know, many people that work for many hours to, 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 to create all of this. And, mm. and you can come and look at it closely and, you know, you can come and look at grip hooks creation, his makeup there, uh, and, and scrutinise it and, uh, and see many, many other things. And, you know, I think people will be surprised about the scale of, of the sets and of the, of the, particularly the creatures in here as well. You know, Aragog is massive. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> I've, I was lucky enough to come a few weeks ago and, and mm. see some of these things, and it just blew my mind. And mm. you mentioned the computer effects side of it. Was there ever a fight from special effects to, to say, no, we want to take that on over visual effects? Uh, oh, there's a visual. constant. Well, it's not a fight. It's a, it's a civilised discussion. Mm. Um, you usually find yourself going, it's all about practicalities. It's can you build something, or do the laws of physics stop you? Does it make sense to do something? Does the action mean you could build something practical or not? Is there a budget issue? You know, if you go digital, it's a lot more money. Um, but is that justified? So you have all those conversations at the beginning. So it's, it's not a battle. You're not sort of bidding for something. It's all about, does this make sense? Mm. And very often things are a mixture of both. In fact, I think things work best when they're a mixture of both because then the reality of the practical thing stamps itself on the CG thing and the complexity of the CG thing, you know, seems to stamp itself on the real thing and suddenly you buy into the character. Yeah. Do you hope to inspire people, so in acting or in um, special effects and uh, costume design and all this stuff, that the whole place is just packed full of inspiration. So little yeah. kids that are, you know, uh, one, two, three, four, five right now that, you know, in 20 years might be doing what you're doing and it's, it's Oh God, I hope they are, yeah. yes. I hope so. I hope and if they do, employ me to be in it. <laughs> that would yes. be lovely. But I think it's very inspirational. I think you can't help but be inspired by at least one aspect of, of, of this place. Mm. Um, and uh, my nine-year-old son came through the other day, and I've never seen him ask so many questions about something. Mm. And, you know, this, this studio here is something he's quite familiar with. He's grown up coming here to visit me at work. But when he saw the tour, he was um, enthralled. And... and um, I'm looking forward to seeing other people's reactions who've nothing to do with the films or this industry. Mm. Is it strange for you um, having all these sets so close together? Because I assume they were all spread apart and you know and, and over, separated over several like, films as well. Course, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Seeing them that you can walk from one to the other in very close proximity is is uh, is, is very unique and different. Um. And it's strange because you know, sort of, I know that you know for several years if I stepped out of a certain door. I could nip round the corner to the coffee shop or back to my department, and now if I go through that door, it's a brick wall. Yeah, well, they've rebuilt the whole place. You know, so literally the building. It is strange, but when you're in the sets themselves, it to you know for us, it is like just being back there. Mm. I've been asking everybody this: Would you rather drive the Ford Anglia, the flying Ford Anglia, or the night bus? Mm. Ford Anglia, definitely. You avoid traffic. <laughs> and with the night bus, you can squeeze through traffic, though, can't you? Yeah. So traffic's not really an issue. Although low bridges, I could squash. See, not the same question fly. you thought it was. No, I know. I went into it, didn't I, blindly? That I want to fly. <laughs> There's quite a lot of depth to the question. You, you have to look yeah, into it. Yeah, you have to think about it. Car. What do you yeah. want? And Nick, yourself? I, th I think I'd probably go for the Ford Anglia, because the thought of me even being in charge of a bus worries me. <laughs> Fantastic. Is there one um, effect that you've created that you are proud of over all the others? Ooh. I mean, you don't have to say me, you know, just say something. <laughs> it's sort of embarrassing. Just don't say my makeup, say something else. No, I can say your makeup because it's got nothing to do with, you know, you were on the inside, <laughs> weren't you? Um, I think the goblin sequence I was most oh, well. proud of when we actually completed it. But just seeing the way, you know, I get the kick when some kid comes round and they see something and it's a patently fake thing we've made mm. and they react to it as if it's real. Yeah. That's what, you know, if you think the spider's creepy, we've won. If you think Buckbeak is dangerous unless you bow to him, then we've won. Great. The whole place is amazing, and I can't wait for the public to come and see it tomorrow when their grand opening happens. So mm. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you.